But if I get there, what if I don't feel like wearing the dress? Oh, it's a whole problem, guys, right? Today is Monday and I am sitting in the car. The weather is crazy today. We are getting rain, rain, rain all day and pretty much the rest of the week. I'm sitting in the car. I just got back from the mall. I went to, did a little bit of shopping. Um, we're going on a trip soon, so I need to get a few things. And I wanna show you guys once we get home. I'm waiting for Travis. He went to the grocery store. Um, I'm gonna cook for the kid. I'm gonna cook dinner tonight. Um, I'll cook the kids some stuff because Chavis and I just ate. Ladies, you guys know how it is. When it's time to go on vacation, oh my God, I swear you spend more time trying to buy what you need for a vacation than anything. Like the nails, the hair, the feet, the clothes. And you know we just can't take a few things it has to be choices and this outfit for this day and this outfit possibly for this day and if i don't feel like wearing this outfit that day i'm gonna pack back up and chavez is not one to understand that he's like why do you need to take this or why do you need that i'm not taking nothing guys are different they just need shorts and t-shirt and they're good i need options if i pack a dress like i have a dress or a few dresses that i'm packing to wear to dinner a few nights but if I get there, what if I don't feel like wearing a dress? What if I feel like wearing shorts or something else? So I have to have options. And then I have to have shoes to go with those options. Can't pack too much because I'm taking my bag on the plane. Oh, it's a whole problem, guys, right? It's a whole problem. I have an acne dot on my face. Can you guys tell where it is? Those little acne patches. I'm gonna give you a minute. Nope, okay. It's right there. It's super clear. You probably can see it now that I pointed it out. But you guys, these acne dots have saved my life. I will link them below because if you are someone who deals with hormonal acne or even if you have little pimples that pop up, oh my gosh, they will save your life. I'm also using another skincare product I wanna show you guys too. I used it last night and y'all, it has just done wonders for me overnight. So I got some orders in the mail that I want to show you guys. This is a bathing suit cover up from Cupshe. I love it so much. It's like an off white. The embroidery I love. It's very comfortable and I like it because it's optional. You can tie it up too. So love that. Then I also got a dress from Zara. Now this dress was a disappointment guys because I couldn't zip it up. Kaylee had to help me zip it up we finally got it zipped up when i tried it on and then when i got to miami you guys i couldn't zip it up i think chaps and i broke the zipper trying to zip it up i don't know if it's cut different or what but so disappointed this is one of my dinner options which is why i was saying earlier in the video you have to have options thank god i did because this dress was a no-go but it was beautiful <sighs> okay guys i'm sorry it is the next day um tuesday i was too tired last night when we got home after I cooked to show you what I picked up from the mall, but I'm gonna show you guys today. Did a little shopping at H&M, Sephora, and then Tory Burch. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got from Sephora. I needed a new sunscreen, so I picked up the Biosense Squalene Plus Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen, SPF 30. And I've been looking for a new sunscreen to, to um, try out because my the one that I already used before the one I'm already out of the one I was using before the verse sunscreen so I went to venture out and try another one and this one caught my eye I went on Sephora's website did a little research on this so I ended up going in the store I put it on my hands and um I can do it for y'all now actually I went ahead and just um tried it out on my hands before like with the tester to see you know before i bought it because this is not cheap so <laughs> i did that and i love the way it oxidizes into my skin and it just leaves a nice glowing finish so pretty 
when you put it on at first, you're like, oh gosh, this is gonna leave a white cast, but it doesn't. Picked up another Bite Beauty Agave Daytime Lip Balm. I'm going to be doing a lip balm video soon, like my favorite lip balms, and I wanted to make sure I had this in my stash because I wanted to talk about it. So I got this one from H&M. I picked up just a few things. I got these really pretty shorts, y'all. I love these so much. These are really, really, um, these look super comfortable. So I don't know the material, but it's like that really like smooth, um, buttery type material. So I got these like little lounging shorts, but I'll definitely obviously wear these out. And then um, these were $17.99, but I think they were on sale. Like when I got to the register, they were not $17.99. I can't remember what they were, but they were not $17.99. So I got these. Actually, Actually, I can look on the receipt. And then I got this um, tank to go with it. I thought that would look really nice with it. That little look right there. So I tried it on too, it's really, um, really cute. So I definitely will be being comfortable in wearing this. Um, I, picked this I picked this one specifically for our trip. I'm probably gonna either wear this there on the plane or wear it coming back on the plane, so I just wanted to get something, you know, I could just throw on that was gonna be super easy. And then I needed another dress for another dinner night. So, let me try to get any of this on my shorts. Like a possible choice or possible option. So this is so pretty. I'm gonna have to try it on for y'all. This dress is so pretty. When I tried it on in the dressing room, I fell in love with it, but I love the yellow, first of all, and it is perfect. It's long, like a long ribbed dress. And the back, let me show you the back. And the back crosses like this. Oh my God, can y'all see that? Hold on. And then look how deep that is down to your bottom, but it doesn't show, you know, the goods. It just has like that little cut right there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna try to see if I can open this up for y'all. It's hard, but that's basically how the back looks. It crosses over the back and all this is open, right? And then this comes up above like your tailbone. This is just mm, so pretty. So I tried this on, like I said, I loved it. I love the color, I love the neckline and the material feels good. And last, I went to Tory Burch because I saw they had the new like fall jellies and um these are the tortoise jellies and i when i saw these i was like and i need them asap um but this is my card like information card and my receipt is in here but this is what they look like how cute are these how pretty are these you guys when i went in there to try these on stop ace when I went in there to try these on, the uh, store clerk, she was like, everybody's coming in to get these. She said, these are our new fall jellies. And I'm like, so if you get Tory Burch jellies, size down, because I normally wear an eight and a half and they don't have half sizes. So I went to do, to try on a nine and that was a little bit too big. I had like this much room in the back. So she told me to size, if you wear size, if you wear eight and a half, then size down a half size. So I just um, size down to an eight and it's perfect. But so just FYI, I love these though. Oh my gosh, y'all. I will link these in the description box below. Get them ASAP because she told me there's a lot of people that's been coming in getting these. So I could not wait to wear these. They're really, really comfortable too. So definitely make sure you check them out. That's all I picked up from the mall, you guys. I'm gonna go get ready to take the kids to get some school supplies <laughs> and then um, probably pop back on. I really need to clean up and do my hair, do Kayla's hair, like we have a lot to do this week. So yeah, I will come back on in a little bit, Ace, tell everybody bye. Say bye guys, Ace. Why is it that you're always down here when I'm down here? Look, say bye. <laughs>
So I want to show y'all what my bag looks like after our trip. Like I was telling you guys, this bag does gather a lot of lint. So if that is something that bothers you, this would irk you. However, <laughs> a lint roller gets the job done. It just takes it right off and it's good as new. That was like a little string that was stuck. But um, yeah, I just went to town with the lint roller and it's good as new. I took this on the plane with me um, as like my purse and then had a regular carry on. But I just wanna show you guys how easy it comes off. They do have this bag in different colors, but I just like black because I feel like it goes with everything and look at all that lint. Okay, bye. Hopefully this, these products work and do give me the definition I'm looking for. The, I don't know, I'm looking for something. <laughs> so hopefully these products do it for me, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got um, really quick too. So I'm gonna be using the leave-in conditioner. This is by Miss Jessie, um, Miss Jessie's. And then I'm gonna use the hair and scalp oil and then I'm going to use the Multicultural Curl. It's supposed to be for soft definition, free frizz. So I'm doing what you call the lock method, leave-in conditioner first, then placing the oil. Then I'm gonna use the cream as my styler. And I just like to do this in sections. So the leave-in first. And these products, you guys, they smell so good, so fresh. I will definitely link them below, especially if you like to do wash and goes. But I do use a wide tooth comb just to detangle a little bit. And then I finger rake the product in my hair. And that kind of gives me the definition that I want. I do like how this turned out because because my definition was there, but it was loose and not like sticky or didn't feel stuck. I could definitely tell the difference in using this cream versus using a gel. So with the outcome, especially the second day hair, I think I'll continue to use these products and use this method. You can see here, I'm going back in with the product on the back of my hair, just because I felt like when I applied it the first time, I didn't know how much I should use, but looking at the definition, I needed more. I'm ready to cook dinner. Today is Tuesday, back from vacation. I think the last clip, I told y'all I was back from vacation, washed my hair and everything. Um, I love the products that I use. This is a second day wash and go. Got a little bigger from yesterday, and I love the products that I use. I'm gonna be wearing my curls out for a little bit, just letting them breathe. Y'all, look at that shrinkage. It's crazy, but my hair smells so good. It smells like a lemon pound cake. Not a lemon pound cake, but it smells good. <laughs> the products I use that I showed you guys yesterday, they smell amazing, so I will link them below and I do love that my curls are really soft and um, pretty much defined I mean they're not crazy defined because I didn't use gel I was trying to take a break from using gel I have a lot of length up here if you guys can see that I have a lot of length up there so yeah I'm um, just gonna push that back down but um yeah that's where my length is a lot at the top of my hair but anyway I am getting ready to cook. I am making a butter, garlic, shrimp, and broccoli pasta. That's what we're gonna have for dinner. Yeah, let's go ahead and start cooking. So for this recipe, it calls for juice from a lemon, olive oil, parsley, minced garlic, sea salt, black pepper, angel hair pasta, shrimp that is unthawing, Parmesan cheese, white wine, broccoli that is in the freezer. Talking to y'all while the stove is getting hot. Um, but so my choice of wine is, is a red wine, a Cab Sav. I love red wine, um, but I do not have any more red wine in this um, recipe called for a white wine. So I figure I'll just get a big bottle of white wine, use it for the recipe, and then pour myself a glass. I'm sure Travis will want a glass when he gets home. I'm gonna use this glass today. This is from Crate and Barrel. So love this glass. Crate and barrel, link it below if I can. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Make sure you guys stick around so you can see how my food came out. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.